What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to see if there is a vulnerability with iOS 18. Uh, previously with iOS 17, um, we could have Bluetooth spammers that would make these phones flip out and crash. I'm going to be testing it pretty much live. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I wanted to see. Um, and we have this Flipper Zero attack the phone and see if there's still a vulnerability with uh, iOS. So again, iOS 17 had the vulnerability. I wanted to see if they fixed it with iOS uh, 18 here. So I ended up borrowing my wife's phone. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button on the channel. And we're going to, head in, we're going to go ahead and test this. Apps, Bluetooth, Bluetooth spam. Okay, let's do iOS 17 lockup crash. So let's see. We're going to start the attack. Okay. Hasn't crashed the phone yet. So it seems like it's not crashing the phone, but it's still making you freak out. So it's spamming all these devices that don't exist. Nope. Maybe just let it play out. I'm gonna let it play out for a second. See how, see how long it takes if it does crash. So it's still getting the fake devices. It's just not crashing. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. So it seems like it's not completely crashing. So it's getting spammed, but it's not crashing. So that's good. So let's stop this attack. Let's try a different one. All right, Apple device pop up. We'll see if we make a freak out with that. Okay. Same thing like before. So it seems like you can still get spammed, but it's handling it a lot better this time. Before the iOS 17 would just crash. And it seems like it's only doing one at a time, which is actually seems like that's an improvement. So maybe there is. They did fix a little bit of that of vulnerability. But it still can get spammed. And to prevent that, we'll look it up in a second. There's another type of uh, Apple attack. Oh, this one's really buggy. All right, so this one's really bothering it. This is the Apple action attack here. So, it seems to be handling a lot better. Let's let it cook for a minute. Seems to be handling it pretty well. Alright, so there's one device. I'm not crashing it. Very interesting. Well, it seems like they fixed the crashes with this with this type of attack, but you can still get spammed. So if I do regular spamming, this one seems like this is the pop-up devices. So it'll, it'll come up with fake devices, but it's not crashing the phone. It kind of does it like slow, one at a time. And let's stop the attack there. Let's turn off the... Okay, Bluetooth is off. And it's not getting attacked. So, all right, if you want to avoid this, if you don't need Bluetooth on, meagerly Bluetooth on, but if you're ever noticing you're getting spammed, it's as simple as just turning off Bluetooth on your phone and it should stop it. So it seems like with iOS uh, 18, it stopped this iOS 17 uh, vulnerability here. So it's good to know. So remember, spamming devices is highly illegal. Um, I had a controlled test environment. So uh, in this phone, I had permission to uh, do the test on. And I'm underground, uh, believe it or not. So make sure you do a test in a good environment. Remember, Bluetooth spamming is illegal because you could jam a frequency or jam something. You could jam somebody's emergency call, etc. So make sure you be careful when you do stuff like this. But it just seems like iOS 18, iOS 18 can handle these type of attacks. So good job, Babel. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you in the next one.